Hi, I'm Joshua Caldwell, the writer-director of Layover, which we made for about $6,000, and I'm going to take you through one of the scenes that in the film looks like the most expensive, but was in fact one of the cheapest to shoot, which is the club scene. So basically, we had permission to shoot in the club, but that's all we had. We did not control the lights, did not control the crowds, did not control anything. So knowing that, from the get-go, I wrote a scene that was not going to be heavy on any kind of narrative. It wasn't going to require lines or takes or anything like that. What I could really do was just get the girls together, tell them to go dance, and then shoot it. And then we cut it up in an exciting way. So in addition to the main stuff of all the girls in the cast dancing, uh, Bertel, our producer, had also done some scouting, and he had gone and shot just a bunch of random cutaway footage just to test and show us what it looked like, but we actually ended up using that in the film and cutting it together. One of the ways in which we were able to really accomplish this scene without controlling any of the lighting was to be able to shoot on the 5D at about 6400 ISO at about a, on about a 1.8 lens, which allowed us to get just enough light in to, have, to be able to see anything. And, um, and that cut together with all of the more exciting stuff makes it feel like it's really big and that we had per not only permission to be there, but we set and, and created this really big club scene. The only little bit of narrative in here is Simone seeing her friend Juliet making out with a guy who is not her husband. We actually shot this scene before the club had even opened in the lobby area. And as you can see from the diagram I provided below, I basically took the eight people in our crew, lined them all up back to back, told them to dance and start moving, and then shot long end of the barrel in order to make it feel like it was a packed club and we were in the middle of everything that you saw otherwise. And by utilizing those little tips and tricks, we were able to shoot a scene that feels really big, really adds a huge amount of production value to the film, and yet accomplished it in such a way that it didn't really cost us anything.